when and if my mother dies. <laughs> and I say when and if because I feel like, you know, evil never dies. I say it all the time. Like she might outlive me. How's that for a scary thought? That, that, that like somebody who is that kind of person is gonna be on the planet for an extended period of time, continuing to do the damage that they do. Anyway, when my mother dies, I don't really need anyone to say anything for me. I mean, you could say you're happy for me. You could say, you know, um, you must be relieved. I don't even know that I'll feel that because she's been dead to me for such a long time. It will likely have zero impact on my life. When I found out my grandfather died, which was years after the fact, I didn't feel anything at all, like nothing, because he was already gone to me. You know, I was, the things that I grieved with him was like, how could you be so nice to me? How can I have these happy memories? And then you be molesting me as a little girl. Like, I couldn't put that together. I couldn't figure out how to not love him and how to not hate him in the same breath until I felt nothing for him and I feel nothing for him. So when my mother dies, I'm thinking, you know, just be like, hey, yeah, that's great. <laughs> not I'm so sorry, right? So for you out there whose parent abuser has passed away, what would you want someone to say to you, if anything at all?